Hey everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. I'm just doing a quick video to um, check out how my um, new camera is. I received the Samsung M NX3300 uh, for my birthday from a bunch of family members. I'm really appreciative of them for all pitching in to get me something that I was looking to receive. Um, so the camera is pretty cool. It has a little flip up on the back side um, so screen so I can see myself, but that means I keep looking up, so that kind of stinks. Um, but I just want to make sure that everything's focusing right. That was one of my biggest um, downsides of having my DSLR, uh, that it doesn't autofocus um, with just the body style it is, and I want to be able to have a camera that's a little more compact for on the go and um, be able to do videos for whenever I go somewhere or just kind of like random day in the life stuff. So this is our Christmas tree. We um, had the kids decorate it. As you can see, most of the ornaments that are kid friendly are on the bottom. And then my more special ones are up at the top. So I'll show you some of those. Hold on. So this was an ornament when Aubrey was first born. And I'm kind of bummed because every Christmas afterwards I'm not able to find a frame like that one. But this year, I did some pretty cool um, ornaments through Baby Bump and Beyond. Um, she's a vendor, a friend that has an Etsy shop, so she's also a vendor friend. And um, this year she came out with these new, well, I needed to focus, these new um, photo type um, glass ornaments. So they're, they're glass, and then you send her the picture, and she puts them on there. There's one more. Oh, yeah. That one's of John and Aubrey. I guess maybe the light bulb is confusing. There you go. Um, so we did that. This is an ornament that my BFF made and sent her, uh, I think it was her grandma or aunt had her tradition where they would send out little custom ornaments every year. So she's been doing that for a while. Um, this was an ornament I made two years ago that was Lukey's foot and Aubrey's hand. Um, let's see, I've also done this hand print one. Hopefully you can see it. That was um, one I did. I saw it on Pinterest, and it was for, um, like, newborns, except that it's really hard to make a newborn open their hand. So that's why we did the foot the next Christmas after, when Aubrey was born. I mean, when Lukey was born. That is a frame from when Aubrey's first Christmas with my little sister. And let's see, what other custom ones do I have? Oh, this one's not custom, but it's cute. That's a little s'mores, s'mores couple for our first Christmas. Um... Oh, this one. So this is one that my friend did on Pinterest. And she took our wedding invitation, shredded it up so there it says Jonathan, Dell, and somewhere's me. Oh, there's me. I don't know if you can focus on there. Um, but so, oops. So it has our name on there, and then in there is shredded up and intertwined our wedding date, the venue. That was our wedding invitation. She gave that to all of us one year, and that was a really cool gift. Um, these are bells that I made for one of my recent blog posts on melissadell.com for the kids to use while looking at Christmas lights, except that I forgot to do that. And yes, we are part of the Fake Tree Brigade. I'm going to flip this up. Fake Tree Brigade. Fake Tree Brigade. So if you're on Instagram, hashtag it with that. Um, but this year, I decided that I wanted to have a fake tree. That way we could set it up. Christmas was really late this year, depending on our, the time frame of when we would normally get our tree. And Christmas kind of seemed a lot longer in length. And I was a little nervous to have it dry out. My husband every year is nervous that every time we... The beginning is all gung-ho, and then towards the end of it, he's kind of like, ah, I don't think I want to turn the lights on. So I talked him into getting a fake tree. Um, we bought it online with Sam's Club. And um, basically... For the cost that it normally is for us to buy a real tree and a blog post opportunity that I had, it covered the cost of it. So it was basically a wash, but we'll be able to use it again next year. And to, oh, I'll go this way and show you. So um, I, because it's a fake tree, I wanted to, I wanted to do something where um, it still had Christmas tree scent because that was his biggest um complaint. So as you know, I sell Scentsy. I have some videos of a playlist of like tips and tricks for it. So what I did was I purchased um, a bunch of our different scents. So this one is, I don't know if it'll focus on this. I don't know how to do it with the light. Anyways, 
Um, this is very snowy spruce, winter pine, and iced pine. This is the one I have in my Scentsy Warm right now. And you might wonder, where is my Scentsy Warmer? Well, I'll show you. It is right there. I don't think I can zoom in on it while it's in the video mode. No. Um, oops, maybe. Hold on. Did I zoom on this? Oh, yeah. So there is the Scentsy Warmer. It's behind the tree, so the kids don't know. And we have one cube of it in there. And then also, um, I use the essential oils from doTERRA. Oops. And focus on me. Where's my face? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I use the essential oils from doTERRA. And one of my friends um, got the holiday bottle where it has like a bunch of different Christmas tree scents. In, or not Christmas tree. Um, tree scents. And some clove, I think, and cinnamon. So anyway, she wasn't going to use it, so she asked me if I wanted it. So I said, sure. So um, she also gave me this little ceramic plate thing. So I put some drops on that. So that's in the tree, too. Just whatever it can to, you know, make it smell like Christmas in here. Um, but so, yeah. So I bought these to use under with the tree. How? Oh, there we go. Um, so that way it works out hopefully pretty well. And then I'm going to package it with our ornaments. So... For next year, I will have them already. So as soon as the tree goes in, I'm gonna just plop in the, the next cube and be good. So um, yeah, this video is kind of long. So anyways, this is my first vlog of just randomness. So thanks for tuning in. If you like it, hit subscribe below and give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment with um, if you have a fake tree, what you do. Cause I know there's like sprays and candles and that kind of stuff, but having candles lit all day long with kids kind of scares me. So that's why I use Scentsy. All right, talk to you later, bye.